everybody, Backyard Bullion here. Welcome to episode 152 of In Focus Friday, the show where we take a good close look at cool things made out of silver or gold. And as you've seen from the new intro, this week's episode is sponsored by the Germania Mint. So a massive thank you to them for the opportunity to work with them, showcasing a very cool creation of theirs, the Britannia Germania Allegories Round in glorious one ounce silver. Full transparency, this is a sponsored video, but I aim to give a fair and honest review of this round so that you guys can see it and make up your own minds as to whether it's something you might like to purchase. I'm not receiving any commission from the Germania Mint on any sales of these. In fact, you can't buy them directly from the Germania Mint. So if you do want to purchase them, you're going to have to contact your favorite bullion dealers out there. I'm sure there's going to be quite a few carrying this very cool round. Now, just for one last thing, there's going to be a sneak peek at the end of today's episode of what we're featuring next week. So make sure you stick around. And if you enjoy this video as we go, hit that like button. It really does help everything we do here on the channel. But now to the feature of today, the Allegories Germania, or sorry, Britannia Germania. That's the way that we should say it. Round. It's not a coin. It's a round. I do apologize if I use the word coin at some point throughout this video. It's coin shaped. That's how my brain works. Anyway. Germania Mint. I have featured a round of theirs on my channel before on InFocus Friday. It was the uh, Germania 2019 round. Stunning piece. Really liked it. Bit of a premium piece though, certainly for us here in the UK. And we'll talk a bit more about that because this status as a round and medallion rather than a coin does affect its price for us here in the European Union. But it was stunning and the Germania Mint reached out to us and sent us this Britannia Germania allegories round to have a look at and showcase for you guys. Really impressed with it, I have to say, and really impressed with the Germania Mint as well. I had a good long discussion with their chief executive in the build up to this particular video. And they are a very, very proactive, decent minded company that are basically out there to make stunning products, high quality, really, really good finished products that will hopefully set the market alight. And I have to say, job well done so far, because the first release of the, of the Germania went very, very well indeed. Lots of good hype about that round. And the Allegories has equally had a similar amount of hype, and that's very good. So I do rate them as a manufacturer. I think they've done a fantastic job on this. And just wait till you see the other side, the reverse. It's simply mind boggling how much detail and stunning look and feel that has. Absolutely incredible. I get distracted. I mean, I've, I've tried to film this video a number of times. Sort of trade secret, sometimes you fluff the video and have to start again. And I've been distracted by this reverse. I have to say it's absolutely incredible. So I'm going to go back to the other side first so that I don't get distracted like the shiny magpie that I am. So what are the allegories rounds all about? This has uh, a mixture of Britannia and Germania, two very, very sort of famous historical lands of Germania and Britannia, back from the classical era. And, uh, you know, these have, of course, many classical uh, roots in their kind of look and feel to them. You've got Britannia there with her kind of Roman regalia on, and Germania with that kind of Holy Roman Empire, you know, classical Renaissance era look and feel to it, which is very, very good indeed. Now, I said I'd do an honest and fair review. Quality-wise, I cannot fault this. It's absolutely stunning. Comes supplied in a capsule. I've opened the capsule so that we can see the uh, the naked coin, so to speak, really nice and close up to the 4K camera. But, uh, you know, coming in a capsule is fantastic, so very well protected. The finish is sublime. I mean, it really does look like a proof version. It's absolutely stunning. My only critique of it is maybe around the aesthetics of the design. So the Britannia, she's a bit cheeky, and I like what Silver Limey said on his review of this particular round. It's almost like Germania is tapping Britannia on the shoulder and saying, hey, hey, look what I found over here. And Britannia, just in her cheeky way, is going, nah, I'm not bothered. Just look how beautiful I am. So that's my only critique. I suppose if you are a Britannia fan and you're a collector of anything and everything, all Britannia, then maybe this won't speak to every single collector out there because it's a little bit cheeky. I don't know. Maybe I'm just looking into it a bit too much. That's really the only flaw I can see in the design of it. Otherwise, simply stunning. The finish on the shield of Germania is brilliant. I mean, just look how much detail is achieved on this eagle there. Absolutely stunning. And Germania herself looks fantastic with Britannia there as well, that cheeky little grin and pose as well. So all told, incredible, incredible coin and design, sorry, round and design. 
but it gets better and better when you come over to the reverse of the round which has this absolutely stunning wreath around a shield and you know all of the symbolism that's in every single aspect of these designs is meant to scream regalia it's meant to scream history and uh, it's just fantastic design work i have to say it really is absolutely stunning there's just so much detail and so much going on it does look quite busy but the busyness isn't overwhelming the beauty that is this i mean just look at the light play on the different parts of the shield and the different it's just the small touches like the different angles of the lines going across with the boar there and with the sh with the eagles there I just think it's an incredibly well done job and I really like the background of the round as well a lot of the time you know you get quite dull and boring backs and reverses of coins and rounds because you know all of the detail all of the energy and effort's gone into the design on the other side but this one not so much absolutely fantastic now you can see there Germania 2019 that's the obviously the Germania Mint 2019 five mark at the bottom that's an interesting thing to talk about so this is again heading back into that sort of history of you know basically Deutschmarks and, and, and marks generally speaking the Germania units of currency now that used to be legal tender currency back in the day but now not so much and that is an important thing for us in the in the UK and EU because it means that dealers cannot charge the loophole VAT margin scheme on just profits rather than the overall price of the round so we have to pay significant amount of tax so that again puts this round into the quite high premium category now it is a limited mintage round in the sense that it's 25,000 mintage which is of course quite low however you know the sheer price that we in Europe have to pay for this is pretty staggering to be honest now because we as consumers have to pay high prices in the EU for it it does mean if you're looking to sell it to somebody in the EU down at the other end that you will probably get your premiums back but only if this really does hold true to its value I think it might have you know it's got a good chance of doing that but at the end of the day it is a high premium risk coin and for those of you in the US Canada and outside the EU you will be able to pick this up at much much cheaper prices than us in the UK and EU so that's definitely something to factor in for the European Union buyers but for you US people I do think this represents a pretty damn good piece and potential purchase uh, so yeah now it doesn't just come in one ounce I sadly don't have the two and five ounce versions the Germania Mint only sent me the one ounce versions to send or to showcase here for you guys but they are releasing uh, these in two ounce and five ounces now each of the two ounce and five ounce have different mintages. The two ounce has a two and a half thousand mintage, so that's significantly lower, 10 times lower in fact, and that will come in a capsule as well. And then the five ounce is also a huge, a humongous, I said nearly huge mongous round there. It's gonna be five times as thick as this one ounce round. If we look at the side profile, you know, it's a decent sized round. It's got a nice kind of reeded edge there five times as thick five ounces worth of silver all in the same diameter round and just looking stunning so that has only a mintage of 500 that seems to me if you can get that at a good price to be the one to pick up because the five ounce chunky nature of it is going to be incredible we all know what the two ounce queen's beasts look and feel like those are great five ounce would be incredible so that's definitely my pick of the kind of three out there to have a look at and see if you can get your hands on them. But generally speaking, I really think this is a fantastic looking piece. It's, a, it's an excellent quality. I mean, you, you've got to admit the quality of this is sublime. I hope the camera is doing it justice and that YouTube has uh, you know, edited the video correctly in 4K because sometimes when you upload a video, it can take a couple of days to get YouTube to have it all uh, you know, sort of processed into 4K quality. So hopefully this has gone up there at 4K. Really does look incredible. Made of 4.9 silver, I haven't even mentioned that. There's just so many things about this that catch the eye and take your attention away from the simply sublime nature of the design. It's really, really incredible. But this side is my favorite by a long way. What do you guys think? That's one of the reasons we make this video. We love to know your opinion down in the comment section. So please feel free to comment yay or nay whether you like this or not and let us know why if you're not a fan of it it would be interesting to hear everybody's thoughts and opinions on it and i know the germania mint will probably be watching this video and they'll they're really good like i said i had a really good conversation with their chief executive 
and feedback is incredibly important for them. And uh, you know, their goal, their mission statement over the coming years is to really be that you know mint of sublime quality and design. And I'm sure they will take on board any feedback, positive and negative, that people might have on this particular round. So feel free to comment down in the comment section. I'll see you down there. So we're going to put that to bed now before I drop it and damage it. Oh, as well, we haven't looked at the COA. It does come with a COA, which is fantastic. So here is the COA for you all to have a good look at. Uh, nice little touch to these coins. Very good quality one as well. Nice, uh, good cardboard and all of the information that you need to know there as well. And you can see their release minute release is limited to 25,000 pieces. So that is very cool. There's their website, germaniamint.com. You can go and see a lot more about what they're all about and all of their different uh, you know, releases and things that they've got coming up. They've also got a... Uh, Germania Columbia uh, round coming out at some point. I haven't seen the actual uh, physical versions of those yet, but they do look pretty special as well in their sort of marketing material. So let us know your thoughts on those. Uh, now, sneak peek for next week. Uh, I was going to show the Platinum Britannia that I purchased uh, on this particular episode, but I featured it basically on Wednesday and showcased it so close to the camera that I felt it was just going to be duplicating. So next week we've got some gold. We've got some yellow Indian head gold. I absolutely love this. One of my favourite coins. It's been on my wish list for a very long time and I finally managed to pick up uh, some gold this last month because it's been such interesting prices happening in the world of gold right now that it's been a bit of a dry spell for me picking up any gold. So it's nice to actually get off the shelf and buy some gold once again. So next week we're going to have a good close look at that and talk about US gold in its beautiful constitutional form. So that is this week's episode all done. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts on the Germania down in the comment section. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you hit the thumbs up button. It really does help share everything around on our social media. Big thank you to G the Germania Mint once again for sponsoring today's video. And if you want to learn a little bit more about what they're all about, their website is down in the description below. Otherwise, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you wanna see future episodes of In Focus Friday. And if you are subscribed already, make sure you hit the alarm bell if you want to get notifications when my videos go live. Otherwise, that is all I have to say. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic weekend ahead. And as always, please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.